Here's a point of order concerning a ministerial visit to my constituency, of which I was not given prior notice. The Honourable Member for Stockton South was also at the visit without informing me in advance. The Honourable Member for Stockton South said in the House of, 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 yeah, last night at column 63 of Ansard that his role, and I quote, was to drop off my friend the Minister. It now appears from the local media that his role was more than just the chauffeur. From photographs, it was an integral part of the visit. Have you received, Mr Speaker, any indication from the Honourable Member that he wants to put the record straight and apologise to the House? Yeah. Well, I'm grateful to the Honourable Gentleman for his point of order. I have received no such indication, although the Honourable Gentleman is in his place, and if he wishes to say something, it is open to him to do so. He's stirring from his seat. <laughs> Mr G. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I, I do stand by what I said yesterday. My role was to drop off uh, the Honourable Member of Great Yarmouth, who was visiting Hitachi, which, of course, is this great investment that this government has brought to the North East, creating thousands of jobs and bringing millions of pounds. I did not stay throughout the full visit. Uh, I dropped him off. I, did, I, I dropped him off. I spoke briefly to the media. I got a quick photograph, and I, and I left before the visit was complete. My role was to drop the, uh, the Minister off, Mr Speaker. And I, how would I most accurately put on the record my uh, honest and well-meant suggestion to the Honourable Member of Sedgefield that rather than continually making points of order of this type in this place, which of course he is entitled to do, he would perhaps be better served asking Hitachi why they had not invited him to attend. I'm grateful to the Honourable Gentleman. Look, let me say this. I've just listened to the Honourable Gentleman's explanation. I have to say that I do think that we should operate in a fashion informed by common sense. My colleague in the chair at the time that the Honourable Gentleman Member for Sedgefield originally raised a point of order about this matter yesterday said we are all grown up enough to know what the conventions imply about visiting another member's constituency. I have no intention of having a lengthy debate about this matter, but suffice it to say that the question of how long a member was present on a particular visit is pretty immaterial. I don't doubt that the Honourable Gentleman is a first-class driver. I haven't benefited from his skills in that regard over the years, but I have no reason to question that he would be a very satisfactory chauffeur. But if, in fact, he took part in the visit, I think he must know what the logic of that is. I would appeal to members, particularly at this sensitive time in the run-up to a general election, to take care to observe not merely the letter, but the spirit of the Convention about prior notification. I don't want to go beyond that. Let's leave the matter there and let's try to ensure that we behave in a way that is seemly and that the public would think seemly. Let's